Hey folks, guns, gear, and on-target training out here in Oregon. I was asked by a subscriber recently to share my thoughts about the differences between one gun and another. And this particular gentleman thought that the SIG P320X5 Legion was vastly superior to the Legion SAO version. So I thought I'd test for myself. So of course the P320X5, nice heavy 5 inch, really a heavy gun, tungsten infused frame, a lot of weight to the gun, fiber optic sights, really set up as a competition gun. And then one of my favorite duty weapons and one of my favorite SIG products of course is actually the P226 and in this case, the Legion. So the Legion is an upgrade of the standard 226, and in this case, we have the single action only version. So, of course, I wanna to go to the range every chance I get, so this gave me a good reason to go out and shoot two guns that I like quite a bit. So we're gonna do a side-by-side -side test. We'll do some accuracy testing. If you like this video, I hope you'll click the like button and also subscribe we really appreciate all the subscribers we have and love to have you join the channel so what we're going to do is we're going to go back down range and we're going to work some steel and just get a sense of how we're performing with that and i'm just going to do some press out drills we've got our steel plates out there and we'll see how we execute with the guns And combat effective hits at seven yards. Let's switch guns. So now we're going from a single action trigger to a striker fired gun with the SIG Legion. I didn't see a big difference, right? Our group is a little bit tighter, but that's really more about me managing the trigger. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go a little closer and we'll work some paper and see how we do with that. Okay guys, the target on the left was the SIG Legion, the X5, the P20X5 Legion, the five and a half inch barrel versus the standard the single action only. So similar groups at this distance, and I wouldn't say that one is more accurate than the other. Downrange at about 20 yards is some steel, and so we're gonna start with the single action only version of the SIG Legion. Completely acceptable. The group's about this large, guys, and that to me is totally acceptable. 20 yards, handgun, that's all good. All right, so now, same drill. We've got our P320 X5. See how we do with this. Same target, same distance. Right, so it took a few shots again haven't shot this gun enough so I'm not doing it service with the way I'm shooting today but once I sort of figured out where the rounds were hitting this is some blazer brass 115 grain and this is shooting a little low with this gun with the 226 Legion single action version it's point of aim point of impact that 115 grains at this distance so 
guys, is, is I shoot this gun and I compare this gun to this gun, I don't think there's a huge difference in the way in which the gun performs. This is not a significantly better gun, in my opinion. That being said, I haven't shot it as much as the single action only version. The single action only version's trigger just feels better. This trigger, it's a little spongy. So we get that, and then I've got this really long, slow reset. It's just not as crisp. Not bad, but again, I, it's just a training issue I'd have to get used to. All right, we're gonna go a little closer now, and we're gonna just run some steel at uh, speed, and hopefully I can do both guns justice. Let's go back down range. Well guys, based on our results downrange, what do I think? Frankly, I think either one of these guns will serve you well. From an accuracy standpoint, with what I can do, they seem to about equal. The heavier frame and longer slide of the X5 does help a little bit, but at distance they were about the same. So, which is better? I don't know. Mission specific, both are excellent handguns. Hey guys, appreciate you watching, finally, and as always, stay safe.